And I hope they're ready to play a tune for us. Nigel, can you hear us all right down there? Yeah. And uh, you've got four new songs. I was, I was hoping for something more than just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but on the other hand, I can I can pick up a, on a cue like that and carry on as though nothing had happened. Uh, four new tunes for us? Well, we've got five, actually. Two of them are quite short. So oh, right. a segueing couple oh, in yeah. the end. Yeah. OK, and these are from a forthcoming LP? Yeah, yeah. What's the forthcoming LP called? Um, I mean, you're obviously not very good at this, are you? You're <laughs> yeah, supposed terrible. to, at this stage, you're then supposed to plug the LP. So give That's the LP right. title um, a couple of times, drop in the name of the record company. And uh, so what's the LP called? <laughs> uh, it's called Voyage to the Bottom of the Road. Right. Um, and, and it'll be out on uh, <laughs> Oh Pro Plus, yeah. Of course, That's right, you've, do, you've done that. That's yeah. good. And uh, before you start, just an entirely unrelated thing, with a question that you'll be able to answer, which we've been puzzling about, and we should have perhaps known, but we've not been reading the papers or the right newspapers. What's happened to Pat Nevin? Oh, he, uh, he had an injury. All oh, right. He's sort of just getting back to full fitness now. All oh, right. Uh, so he should be back in a couple of weeks, if, if not before, in fact. OK, off you go then. First tune. It's uh, called Bad Review. I've said it before, a national treasure. There's no question about it. When I die, I want them to be buried with me. Half man, half biscuit. Uh, that's called Bad Review. And three, four more from them before the end of the programme. And further enlivening conversation as well. One from them down in the basement is the wonderfully titled Deep House Victims Minibus Appeal. Said the public sector 
the pre-launch breakfast briefing Get your checkbooks out I don't want them saying this town doesn't care anymore So 50 sea cadets are sailing to a place where no one sails to They'll probably raise five grand There but for the grace of Riot Girl go you So give what you can to the Deep House Victims minibus appeal Deep House Victims minibus appeal Deep House Victims minibus appeal Tonight French transvets Come one, come all At the new romantic craft fair Try and guess the aliens' weight, sir 25 pence says you can't And some of volleyball's top referees Will keep us all informed Of the deep house Victims, many buzz appeal Deep house Victims, many buzz appeal Deep house Victims, many buzz appeal Italian speed car, new wave of righteous handbag. Watch your contribution to deep house victims, deep house victims, deep house victims. Mini bus up When's he going to speak? <laughs> Live and direct, uh, that's uh, Half Man, Half Biscuit on the Mark Radcliffe programme. I'm John Peel, sitting in for Mark this week when he and Lard are doing the breakfast programme and uh, well worth listening to. It is excellent stuff throughout. Uh, Nigel, tell us more. T- give us the title of the LP again first before we go any further. Um, the LP will be called Voyage to the Bottom of the Road. That's right. And uh, it's released when? Um, sometime November. Right. Exc- exciting plans to, to, to uh, promote the record? No. Right. No. Okay. <laughs> I, knew the answer, I knew the answer to that before I even <laughs> asked it. Tell us about the few gigs then. Uh, we're playing tomorrow um, in Leeds, Duchess of York. Yeah. And then um, ooh, 23rd of November uh, in Manchester, the Boardwalk, and the 27th in Fibbers, York. So that's a bit of a tour in itself, two in four days. It is, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a rush there. Yeah. And, and uh, um, something, what was I going to ask? Oh, yeah, give us, the, give us the line-up of the band while I'm thinking about it. Too. OK, it's um, Carl Henry on drums. Don't drum roll. Um, oh, I think you should, actually. Uh, well. I think it's, it's proper showbiz tradition. Give us a drum roll then, Carl. That's Heartwarming. That's Heartwarming. Yeah. We've got, uh, as usual, of course, um, my oppo, Neil Crossley, on bass. Which he's obviously not going to do nothing. And Ken no, Hancock on uh, guitar, and myself. Very good, OK. Now, listen, the last time I saw you was when we uh, we went to Mel's together and yeah. w- walked along the beach there. Do you ever retrace your steps on from then with a, a tear in the corner of your eye? Uh, indeed, yeah. Um, in fact, they've uh, opened up that lighthouse now. Oh, have they? Yeah. Yeah, about two weeks ago, they opened it up. And uh, obviously, you know, uh, I was sort of like, you know, I've been there, done that. Right, was, of course. Um, they've opened the top, you know, it was the top... Um, the top, le- the top level, wasn't it? Yeah, very impressive it was too in Europe. Yeah. But yeah, the, the main reason that you were there anyway was to give us advice on a kind of uh, pop heritage trail experience in the Mel's area. That's and right, yeah. uh, things it's... like, uh, didn't, it was, hadn't, didn't Cynthia Lennon once live in a house that was almost in Mel's, if not quite? Yeah, it was, it, it's really high, like... But, yeah. um, but near know, enough. Yeah, it's near enough, Mel's, yeah. I think it's Trinity Road. Yeah, right. Which is uh, where John escaped to, I think, when... Um, I don't know whether he's kicked out of college or I don't know, he's having arguments and all that. He lived there for a while. 
So I'm told. But there are tourists who would pay you good money to be told this, aren't there, really? I mean, you could conduct a tour, perhaps a Wirral-wide uh, pop tour, because there was... Uh, you also pointed out, uh, I think, a phone box that uh, orchestral, a member of uh, Orchestral Manoeuvres in the Dark had once used to make a phone call or something. Oh, no, he, it was uh, it had cropped up in a song, is this right? I think, yeah, they, they wrote a song about a phone box in Hoylake or Mel's. Um, but you'd only, you'd, you'd only have that... You'd, well, you'd have that phone box, Cynthia Lennon's house and your old house, which is about it, really, isn't it? Well, there must be more to it than that. Don't think there is, yeah. You could go to Chris Boardman's house, oh, yes. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Glenda Jackson's. And uh, the place where um, the cricketer, what's he called? Uh, oh. Ian Botham, he was born in Heswell. Botham, yeah. And the bloke who used to play uh, near your neck, what, uh, Cranston, was it? Ken England Cranston. Kenneth yeah, Cranston, yeah. yeah. Used to play for Neston. That's right, down at Park Gate. That's right. Mm. Right, OK, well, that's enough of this. Not much to do with pop music. We should be plugging <laughs> you uh, things that you got coming up, but we've already oh, done that's that. Right, yeah. I think what we need is another tune. OK, this is called um, Dead Men Don't Need Season Tickets. Half Man, Half Biscuit, every song title, a potential T-shirt. That one's called Dead Men Don't Need Season Tickets, and there are at least two more from them before the end of the programme. Finally, one that uh, says from some interesting young people from Blackburn and the surrounding area, and they are variously Sid, Bill, Phil, Pob, it looks like, and Cheesy Simon, and they want me to uh, shake Half Man, Half Biscuit by the hand. And I'm Well, I can't do that because they're in a different part of the building, but uh, perhaps at the end of the programme I'll uh, go downstairs and make that gesture. But uh, the band are ready downstairs to do... 
as I say, their two last numbers for us, which are variously these. Uh, Shropshire Lad and then Paintballs Coming Home. To organise a festival along the lines of Donington We took Cheek Airfield as our site Booked the bands we thought were right Received a long range from the Met They said it could be very wet With this in mind we thought it wise To call the whole caboodle off The greatest time I ever had Was when we didn't tell the bands Boom, boom, boom Let me hear you say hose pipe band My childhood, my family, my screwed up relationships My girlfriend, my boyfriend, my suicide to come The drugs, hell, the drinks, Bill, Columbia, hotel room I do believe I'm going to plan What say we go the Isle of Man Man, 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 man Welsh rockers Man, man, man Welsh rockers Man, man, man Welsh rockers Rockers, rockers, rockers Drake and the superglue, the oneness in strumness, the hits and the myths. These hand towels belong to my Islamic landlord. Actung, Edwardian lampoon. Oh no, my head feels like sponge. They've got the whole world in their house. They've got the whole wide world in their house. They've got the whole world in their house to see the new conservatory. They go ten pin bowling after work. They go ten pin bowling after work. They go ten pin bowling after work and they're getting married on a Caribbean beach. They've got a German shepherd Dog called Prince, they've got a German Shepherd. Dog called Prince, they've got a German Shepherd. Dog called Prince, cause the one called Sheba died. They know where things are in B and Q. They know where things are in B and Q. They know where things are in B and Q. And they've got the Joy of Sex video. If I were a linesman, I would execute defenders who applauded my offsides. They were due on the crystal measure, they were due to go on the crystal measure, they were due on the crystal maze, but they got mugged in Florida. They went up in a hot air balloon, they declared their love in a hot air balloon. Yeah, they drank champagne in a hot air balloon and had a row on New Year's Eve. They got nothing but total respect for, they got nothing but total respect for, they got nothing but total respect for Annie Lennox. And if I'd have known they were coming, I'd have slashed me wrists. That's, <laughs> that's superb stuff. Thanks very much indeed. Disconnected jottings, really, with harmony vocals, I think, uh, last lot. A little bit of this and a little bit of that, but wonderful stuff as always. So thanks very much, Nigel, and the rest of you. It's uh, much appreciated. Thank you. And there was something else I was going to... The, the titles there, let me give you those again, uh, listeners. Where I've lost the piece of paper with them on again. What were the titles uh, again, Nigel? Hold on, what have I done with the piece of paper? Uh, give us the titles of those um, last, two, last few pieces. The, the last two, A Shropshire Lad... And the last one was Paintballs Coming Home. That's right. Are you still watching a lot of uh, daytime television? Unfortunately. Yeah, So, because mm. I, I saw something this morning with which you're probably very familiar, which I'd never seen before. It's called. It's not called this, but it's something like 
makeover or something. Do you know? Oh, uh, I'm aware of it. Yeah, I've um, I've dissed it thus far. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not at all surprised. But uh, I should, uh, if you go, if you wake up early enough tomorrow morning, if it's on tomorrow morning, uh, yeah. I should make a point of watching it. It's you, pretty spectacular. You, um, you did get me into Earthworm Jim. Oh, yes, mm. if, uh, oh, good, I'm glad to hear that. Very Superb. good indeed, yes, good stuff. All right, well, thanks a lot, and uh, always hear us on any programme with which I'm involved, Half Man, Half Biscuit.